guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with a new video so this is a special look for saraswati puja as requested by you all so let's get started to prep my skin i use the nivea moisturizer for my eyes i use the under eye cream from himalaya and for the lips i use the laneige lip slipping mask so as you all know i get started with my brows at first and in my videos i don't try to show a great detail on how i do my brows but recently many of my friends requested me to show that in great detail so here it is first i use the eyebrow pomade in the shade dark brown and for doing the brows i always start from the middle to create the arch and then i try to darken it at the ends to give it a ombre effect i especially focus the entire thing on the middle because that only justifies what will be the shape of my brows and next thing to darken it i sometimes use the black eye shadow from any palette so after giving your brows a shape the thing i do is give it a precision and sharp edge along with prep my skin around the eyes So here I am using this concealer from Fit Me range. My shade is 40 caramel. You can see how I'm using the applicator to draw on the either side of my brows. So do it very carefully. Don't tint your brows with a concealer. Now the next step is blending. Now use the sharp edge of the beauty blender or any flat brush to blend the concealer. Give it a smooth and Don't keep any harsh edges with the concealer. Try to blend it completely on the either side of the brows. So the concealer only won't do the work because they are so greasy they try to move from its place. Now to give it a matte effect, you must have a matte effect before you apply your eyeshadows. So I'm applying some loose powder with a beauty blender. just to set the concealer and also to prep my eyelid before i apply the shadows so here comes the eye makeover part i'm using the huda beauty to pass obsession palette now with the flat brush i'm applying the transition color on the top of my lid leaving a subtle space between the brows and the crease guys please use a blending brush while doing so i really couldn't find my blending brush today that's why i used the flat brush after applying the transition of the light color i'm going with the dark darkest brown i have right now this is also from the same palette and i'm also applying it with a fluffy flatten brush there should be a proper transition between the brown and the orange so this is my first attempt to create a cut crease you can see the subtle transition right so soon i realized i messed up with my brown and i applied too much of it and that to cover it up i applied some more orange just to bring out the transition once again so it may happen you are going to also mess up with the dark color then just to avoid it drop some of the dark color and apply more of the light color to create the subtle transition now the most important part is applying the concealer So never ever use the applicator to draw the shape for the crease. Just use a flat brush. It was my first attempt and I didn't know how it would turn up. But then I realized applying it with the applicator smudges the entire effect because you apply too much of the product on the lid which is not required. So then I used this brush to create the almond shape. so it will take some time guys it will at least take 5 minutes to do the entire eye makeover for one eye and i'm going to practice this more often just to create the perfect cut crease 
After you apply the concealer, don't forget to set it up with some loose powder if the concealer doesn't dry up. So after applying the concealer and loose powder, here is the final effect. I am applying some glitter from the same palette as well. You can also apply some glitter pigments, loose glitter pigments if you have. There is no need to apply glue. So this is how it would look like. I haven't yet applied any liner or mascara or any kajal. I just treated this entire eye makeover using a single palette from Huda Beauty. I would request you to suggest me some good palettes if you have one so that I can create more new makeovers because I really like the concept of cut crease. Now guys do have patience while you are doing this because a single step can smudge the entire eye makeover. And then I am taking another flat brush and some black color from the Makeup Revolution palette Fortune Favors the Breath to draw a wing liner. So here I am done with both the eyes right now. The next step is doing my base makeup that is applying the foundation. Here for daily use I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Reach foundation in the shade 228 soft tan I am applying it with a proactive foundation brush so the next step is doing the contouring and blushing I am using the tri sugar palette to do the contouring so I have a weird habit of applying the end of the beauty blender to apply the contouring powder as well as the blush on it So this gives a smooth and soft effect together and there is no harsh edge for contouring. And the last step is applying the lip shade. Here I am choosing this lip shade from Huda Beauty. The shade is Vixen, it's really dark maroon but due to the light it's looking like a red but it's really dark maroon. And it has a matte effect. However, I don't like matte. Therefore, I'm applying it on the layer of my lip slipping mask. And I'm going to couple it up with this lip tint from Face Shop India. This is actually a red lip tint. And this will hydrate my lips. So I'm done applying my lip shade. I didn't apply any lip liner and at the last I'm applying the highlighter from Maybelline Ma so my shade is molten gold this is really a very good highlighter for Indian skin tone I'm applying it on my nose as well as the cheekbones to give it a great effect And then somehow I felt my eyes were not looking good enough. It looks kind of empty, therefore I extended the wing liner. So I want to mention you guys, I haven't applied the mascara yet. I really wanted to apply the falsies. You must apply falsies. But since it was a temporary makeup, I just kept it on. But I advise you to apply falsies while doing this makeup. So guys, it's really a lengthy video due to the detailings of the eye makeover. And I hope you all liked it. So guys, keep watching my videos and subscribe to my channel. I will be back with some more exciting videos. Bye.